so the unit is just powered from zero so it's, it's actually not running until I set this in the proper time and but this the unit is already sending data so you can see in the channel channel one um, and I have here GMT is sending zero and here is the update rate 200 milliseconds the the unit sending this label every 200 milliseconds and these are the three labels uh, I'm getting here um, and if I put here hold, so that will change the yeah minutes and this will check the change the hours if I put it into run you can see here so just running you will see that it's going to update this last digit is this uh, counter from 0 to 9 and then we have uh, 0 to uh, minutes and 1 hour and then I can put here let's change the hours yeah and then the minutes and it's in run mode um, and the date you will see that uh, can change the date the label 260 will change accordingly uh, so yeah it can be parsed exactly in the same way and the chronometer unfortunately doesn't send any actually any data but uh, yeah, it's quite nice to see working Uh, the chronometer is just this is the, the the flight time counter so actually the elapsed time so not that much information sent to the flight management flight management computer so it's only only time um, yeah that's that's mostly all.